we found more than 66 matches of kidnapping and missing people. Unfortunately, part of them was dead, but part of them was alive. And with this, I will say results, we deliver all the data to the missing unit people in the army. When we decided to establish the cyber war room, we understood that we need to collect all the data from Gaza Strip. So we're scraping the data from open source intelligence and also from a social platform. My name is Rafael Franco. I am the CEO of Code Blue. Code Blue is a crisis management team working uh, around the globe. We are working and defending uh, cyber attacks all over the globe. I am also former Israeli Deputy Director General and head of the National Cyber Security. When was created the War Room? The War Room created on Sunday, October 8, day after what happens in October 7. We understood there are many many kidnaps and missing people and we decided to help to find and locate missing and kidnapped people what we did we asked two main questions first if the missing people are live or they are dead second if they are gaza or in they are in israel mi descriveresti la vostra giornata di lavoro when we decided to establish the cyber war room we understood that we need to collect all the data from gaza strip so we're scraping the data from open source intelligence and also from a social platform like TikTok, Snapchat, Telegram, Facebook, and so on. So we scrape everything to our data lake. This was the first step. Meanwhile, we got more than 700 pictures from the families themselves, the families of the kidnapped and missing people. So what we did after we got all the data from come from Gaza and all the data that come from the families, we start to compare. Come avete creato il team e chi lavora nella war room? When we established the war room, we understood that we need a multidisciplinary of tasks from several positions and several employees. So we ask for volunteers from the AI and technology sector. We ask people from the cyber sector. We ask people with Arabic language experience. We ask for people with a geolocation experience. And we put everybody together in the same, same room and to start to develop the platform. Qual è il vostro rapporto con l'esercito israeliano? Most of the people of the war room are volunteers or experts. Part of them are former intelligence guy and in cyber cyber intelligence units in, in the army. But our work, we provide the platform to the army. So after a couple of days, the army joined our platform and help us to be more focused. And all the data that we collect and analyze, we share with the with the army with the missing unit qual è il background delle persone che lavorano nel vostro team most of the people in my team came from cyber background part of them are, are hackers white hackers with the good guys a uh, part of them are arabic speaking language part of them are researcher OSINT, Open Source Intelligence Researcher we got a lot of volunteers so together we build a, i will say a boutique manufacturer to build a platform and to support the mission. Hamas sta filmando gli ostaggi e usando i loro account per la sua strategia del terrore. Ecco voi come utilizzate questi video. We took the videos and we try to do some some actions and to understand from them what are the data that we collect. First, we try to understand from where the picture are taken. For example, if we see behind behind the people a Moscow, if we saw a university, if we saw a, a store that we can locate and to put a pinpoint on a map. This was the first action. Second, a keywords. For example, soldiers, baby, woman. The keywords are, are help us to do this, the research more focused. And second is the face. Even if the face was not so sharp, our AI researcher took the picture and make AI photos and make it more sharp that we can upload the AI machine and to compare and to find by AI face recognition. Come funziona l'intelligenza artificiale e il riconoscimento facciale per rintracciare gli ostaggi? First of all, you need to find the right picture or you need to find uh, the right video. You need to take the right snapshot. After that, you need to brush it. And just later on, you can upload to the AI machine. Because with all the respect to the AI machine, you need a little bit hard work, make it more clear the face, because it was part of the faces was not so sharp. Part of them was bleeding. 
part of them was take the pictures taken from the side. So you need to do a little bit of work. And after that, you are uploaded to the AI recognition. We also help to scrape fast and sharp by Google technology and of course some Israeli startups. So together, all of them help us to build the AI full picture. Chi sono gli ostaggi catturati da Hamas e quanti siete riusciti a rintracciarne? Even Hamas try to control the atmosphere. I will say there are many people in Gaza that took their mobile phone and upload a lot of pictures and videos via the October 7 and of course after that. So we try to understand better from where the picture is taken. We try to locate and find more and more people and in the end we collect more than 300,000 video clips with all of that we compare with 700 pictures and in the end we found more than 66 matches of kidnapping and missing people unfortunately part of them was dead but part of them was alive and with this i would say results we deliver all the data to the missing unit people in the army quali sono i problemi che riscontrate più frequentemente? So, to be honest, the, the problem was to try to collect and analyze so much data in so little bit time. It was very, very difficult to collect hundreds and thousands of data of pictures and to try to understand better what we see inside. So we start to build a mechanism. For example, if you don't see a face, don't bring us the pictures. If you see just a closed doors, don't bring us the picture so we start to i would say investigate make it more clear the questions that we ask the platform this was a, a, a huge advantage to end the with but in the end with success to find the right research questions that will give us just the right pictures the right snapshot that we can compare ci sono stati diversi blackout gaza rimasta senza internet in questi casi voi come vi muovete? After a couple days when the internet was a little bit bad, we got less pictures and we got less data, but from time to time you see a new data and you can try to compare with your data, but yes, actually when the uh, days are continuing, you got less less pictures, you got less movies, but I believe even in one month or two months, when Hamas will move or will shift the kidnaps or the missing people, I believe that it could be that the civilians again will took a pictures and will took a movies and we get another match. So I see like a trend even in two months or three months, it's not matter when, and we, we can collect the data and analyze the data. La strategia del governo militare israeliano su Gaza sta ossacolando il vostro lavoro? It's make it a little bit slow. We are getting less pictures and less videos, but I want to say something else. Even, even the internet is bad, Hamas is also trying to attack civil, Israeli civilian by cyber. He is sending SMS and try to manipulate civilians in Israel. He is trying to attack a billboard and to publish a propaganda. He is trying to make fear. Even we say internet is bad, the electricity is bad, Even that, Hamas is also trying to attack Israel by cyber. Hamas ha dichiarato che non rilascerà gli ostaggi finché Israele non porrà fine ai bombardamenti e solo in cambio dei 500 prigionieri palestinesi detenuti in Israele. Voi identificate gli ostaggi e poi cosa succede? First of all, I think everybody around the globe understand right now Hamas is not a political group, is a terrorist group the worst terrorist group. No one can speak with Hamas because this is a terrorism they want and they kill babies, children, women. So if you ask me, first of all, Israel must to destroy Hamas. And second, just after that, to find the right authorities to make a peace. I believe after we will destroy Hamas, if we will attack and we continue with the pressure, they release part of the hostage. My purpose is to save life. My purpose is to find missing and kidnapping people. And this is the most important things that I can do.